What's up, mama? What's up, mama? Guys, what is this? This is an eyeball. This is a nose. This is a ear. This is a head. What are these? These are feet. What are those called? Traits. Kinda, sorta, maybe, a little bit, maybe not so much. Look at Cha-Cha and uh, 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 Nala. <laughs> Woo, guys, we're gonna talk about traits a little bit, and I'm gonna read you a few that I like, and maybe in uh, the comments below, you could talk about traits that you enjoy, and then we could talk about dominant, not so dominant. Stay tuned, T-Fit here, Fit Bully TV. What's your favorite trait? Let's look at this right here, people. We've got dominant trait, a long head. Which one of y'all got a long head? <laughs> Low set ears, dark eyes. What's another dominant trait people like? Oh, heavy bone. Look at that right there, it says dominant, genetically dominant recessive traits, heavy bone. Ooh, people love that bone, that bone problem. But you know when somebody get too heavy, they can't do too much. Let's see here. Dang, that's crazy. A normal palate is even dominant. Short heads recessive. Blue eyes are recessive, which we know. Y'all heard about them blue eyes, didn't you? Cleft palate, recessive. Kinked or bent tails, recessive. So, what I'm trying to figure out who to breed my dog to, what to look for. Look at Cha-Cha and uh, Nala here. Two different dogs, two different sizes, two different structures, which means we have what? An opportunity to bring these two dogs collectively together and tighten some stuff up. I like a good eyes. Did you even know that good eyes, vision in itself, is what, a trait? Look at that. They both lie like and tan. <laughs> Both light like a tan, and even their movement at times can be considered a what a trait. So I'm looking at Cha Cha's move versus Nala's move. I was gonna say Maya because Maya's her mama. And you think to yourself, people love a big head. Well, I love a good eye set, and a good eye set and head separation is key. Chris Moore believes there's three parts to the head. So when I'm looking at the problems I want to solve and bring together moving forward, I don't want the eyes to be super low. I want them to be up a little bit more because I want some separation here. I don't like a 90, completely 90 degree stop, but I do want at least a three fog, a three finger snoot because who can breathe like this? I'm not into this short muzzle smash face dog. It's not my thing. Will we do a friendship breeding? Absolutely. But when we're looking at traits, people, you beyond a reasonable doubt need to know what to look for so that you can better your program. Look at that. I like that Cha Cha puts her feet under her. Doesn't wiggle, doesn't wiggle her back too much. Nala, on the other hand, she waddles when she moves. Guess what? Her mama does the same thing. Maya looked like a snake. She looked like a snake when she's walking. You'd be like, Maya, if you don't walk straight, but then again, you say, Maya, let's go hard walk, boom. You tighten that leash up, Maya. <laughs> so I repeat, there's a few traits that the book walks you through. You guys wanna know the book? It's somewhere, maybe you saw it, I don't know. What I will say is, is when you're trying to put your program together, really focus on the traits. Here, I like aristocracy. Aristocracy means that there's a pedigree we're building rooted in information, information, intelligence. I like intelligence. I can, you can always add to the body. What can become difficult oftentimes is fixing. I repeat, fixing, trying to make a smart dog uh, or a dumb dog a smart dog. That could be trying. So even when people are like, hey, y'all should breed Tron and Nala together. You go, should we? It, it wouldn't give me what I'm looking for. All of Zara's dogs are determined. And that determination, I want to double down on. All the looks of them, they're pretty dogs. Every To me, a good dog is a good dog. So when I'm looking at the dogs and how we're gonna move forward, I will look at structure. Where should the feet be? How should the feet be, AKA our hands? Did you know even in the fitness side of things, depending on when you stand here and you see somebody analyze you, depending on the way your elbows meet, there are reasons why people can't do, like I can't do straight bar curls. The way my wrists are set up, it aggravates both my wrist, hands, and elbows when doing a straight bar curl. Anatomics matter. The anatomy, structurally, how it functions, how it moves, it matters, people. We'll talk more about this at a later time. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Cha-Cha and Nala, two of our future, um, 
my baby sister-in-laws. Like, hey, in-law, how's it going? You know, I mean, somebody might have to, you know, maybe auntie, uncle, somewhere, and slid in and, you know, say what's up. Well, you're part of the family now. Let's go. And they're not related in any way, shape, or form. Take care, you dogs, people. Thank you for watching.